transform everyday domestic materials into puzzling, biomorphic new forms with strong emotional and psychological implications. I'm really interested in the words female, animal, childhood, uh, mother, domestic, nature, sex. I'm interested in female stereotypes in these words like mother or sexualized women, uh, what it means to be female, feminine, and how all these words intersect. And I'm interested in allowing the viewer the chance to examine their unconscious beliefs about these words as a way of creating new space for new definitions. Louise Bourgeois once said, the only access we have to our volcanic unconscious and to the profound motives for our actions and reactions is through the shock of our encounters with specific people. And I believe you can extend this to refer to specific objects and images as well. So like Bourgeois, I want to shock the viewer into accessing their unconscious beliefs. To do this, I, uh, I capitalize on familiar domestic contexts and then I disrupt them. I often take the original functionality and distort it into something new. So these works, for example, take a lot of stereotypically female issues like delicacy, the pearls, uh, marriage engagements, cooking, the high heels, the apple, things like that. It distorts them into something new, something with unclear intentions. This works takes baby pacifiers that are at the end of fake pears that are coming out of a serpent uh, or almost tree-like growth that has absorbed, almost eaten a domestic end table. This piece looks like it could perhaps move. A suggestion of movement is one of the ways that I work to insert an unsettling feeling or the uncanny into my work. The other way I do that is through literally animating the inanimate. Here I made a four minute long, four minute long uh, animation out of collage found images that begins as an unremarkable living room scene. One by one, the Furniture pieces transform into bizarre living creatures, each with their own unique sound. One of the things that I really like about this animation is that people have such different reactions to it. Some people find it nightmarish or horrific even, and other people find it funny or silly, you know. Um, with my sculpture and my animation work, I am working to abstract known aspects of the domestic realm to create forms that do hover between dream and nightmare, between fear and pleasure. A lot of my sculptural work is explicitly creature-like. This piece, for example, um, this piece is made from popcorn, two types of bath mats, a pillowcase, and its zipper, um, and then structurally I'm using clay and some beeswax. A lot of my sculptural forms are alien, knobbly, spindly, hollow, bodily, bone-like. Um, I like words like that, yeah. <laughs> um, I often work to retain a connection to the original materiality. Uh, this piece, for example, takes bath mats and transforms them into a sea anemone, coral-like form. At the same time, it's uh, clearly inorganic and, and soft and domestic looking, which creates a rupture in the viewer's understanding of the work. I often use stereotypically female objects as a starting point for the creation of my work. This, this work began as a many molds of high-heeled shoes. Uh, the interior of the piece is made from pink bath loofahs and clear kitchen caulk. The exterior is made from table salt. Uh, this creates a almost shell-like object that has a fleshy interior. A lot of my sculptural surfaces are tactile and immutable. Um, this one is very crusty and is often surrounded by fallen globs of salt crystals. Um, other work might be powdery. If you touch it, you might come away with like colored powder fingers, like uh, this one, for example, is the exterior is made with shredded dish towels and dyed baby powder. Uh, the interior is made with that same fleshy bath loofah material of the last piece, and the object began as a bra. And all this works together to create a kind of fish-like form, almost. So my sculptures can be seen as comforting, sexual, nightmarish, childlike, alive, inert, bodily, any other of a wide variety of qualities that are simultaneous and conflicting. It asks the viewer to make qualitative judgment, and I hope that this process inspires insight and 